October 3 UPI Ronda Rousey has broken her social media silence after posting a new video about drug testing and a new business partnership with nutritional supplement company Max Effort Muscle. In the video that was posted to Twitter, Rousey broke down her decision process and the hesitance towards partnering with various nutrition companies, along with drug policies that she has had to deal with. I've had many different offers to work with different nutritional companies, Rousey said in the video. I think one reason why I've been so hesitant to partner with anyone else is that I've grown up in the Olympic testing system. I've been drug tested since I was 14 years old, and I was always taught that whatever you put in your body is your own responsibility and you are taking a risk every single time. The announcement from Rousey broke a fiveman span, where the former UFC women's bantamweight champion had not made a social media post to Twitter or Instagram. Rousey's last post to Instagram and Twitter came on May 4, coming in the form of an Albert Einstein quote. Overall, her last social media post came two months ago on August 15 with a Kickstarter link that was posted to Facebook. Rousey has not indicated if she plans to fight again in the UFC after suffering back-to-back -back losses to Holly Holm and Amanda Nunes. Her last fight was at UFC 207 on December 30, 2016, which ended in a first-round TKO loss to current women's bantamweight champion Nunes. Rousey has been in recent headlines with rumors swirling that she may be close to joining Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Entertainment. The UFC star cut a promo with WWE wrestler Charlotte, the daughter of WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair, nearly a month ago that triggered the crossover rumors. Early Tuesday, Stephanie McMahon, daughter of WWE owner Vince McMahon, told TMZ that the offer still stands for Rousey to join the wrestling company. Most recently, Rousey's focus has been on her new documentary series Why We Fight, a project that was executive produced by the UFC champion. The series will premiere on Verizon's Geo90 video service later in October.